OK, so let's say we've been asked to find the first four terms of 1 minus 2x to the minus 4. So let's have a go at actually using this formula. So what we have is already in the format of 1 plus or 1 minus something. So that's fine. We can use the formula straight off. So 1 minus 2x to the minus 4 is equal to 1 plus n times x. Now, n, this number here, is minus 4. So we have minus 4 times x. Now, that x corresponds with that x there. So this x must correspond with this x that I have here. And the x that I have is minus 2x. The x here has been replaced with minus 2x. So that is what must go here. OK? That's how this is going to work. So all of the x's that I have in this expansion must be replaced with minus 2x. Then we've got the next term. So plus n, so that's minus 4, times minus 4 take away 1, so minus 5, over 2 factorial, so 2 factorial is just 2 anyway, times x squared. Now, each of the x's must be replaced with minus 2x, so that's minus 2x all squared. Plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial, which is 6, times x cubed. So that's minus 2x cubed. Plus other terms, OK? And this goes on and on and on forever. This is an infinite series. So what do we have? We've got the 1, OK? That's nice and easy to work out. We've got minus 4 times minus 2, so that would be plus 8x. Now, for each of these terms, it's good to then get your calculator out ready. So we've got minus 4 times minus 5 divided by 2 factorial, so 1 times 2, times, then we've got minus 2 squared, so minus 2 squared, and that's 40, so plus 40x squared, plus, okay, so for this one, uh, using a fraction button, minus 4 times minus 5 times minus 6 over 3 factorial, so 1 times 2 times 3, uh, times by minus 2 cubed, so minus 2 cubed, and we get 160. So that's 160x cubed, and then we've got the other terms, OK? So these are the first four terms of the expansion. And make sure that you remember that 1 here is a term, OK? There are a number of students that would uh, go to the x to the 4 term, OK? Thinking that that's not a term. It is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, OK? And that is how we can use the formula.